Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, not Monster Train this week. Sorry if you really liked it, but you can also go play more of it yourself. If that's the thing you're into. Uh, this week we are playing Loop Hero. I've turned on dyslexia-friendly fonts because I am pretty sure I'm dyslexic. God, my beer's getting so long. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I mean, yeah, what do you, what do, you do? I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before. Before it's too late. Well, yeah. Ooh. There appears to be goo. The sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. There's absolutely no chance of bringing it all back. There will always be someone who's willing to do the impossible. In a place without space. Without time. Without memory. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head's killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff up in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. Do you change between adventure and planning? Right click. Okay. Hope we'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. Not even exist without the sky. Pay attention to day progress bar. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. A slime. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Everything's automatic. Ah, so our ATB bar fills up. Start a fight with your bare hands. I think there's an undigested weapon in the remains of that thing. A Gladius. Fuck yeah. I love Gladii. I think I remember a grove nearby. Are these even my memories? Do they belong to that slime? That's weird. Very high concept. I've got to say, I'm getting a little sick of roguelikes. Where like... The gist of them is that people are, you're just gonna die a forest rat wolf. I was right, some emotional stress, vivid images, and some adrenaline, I'll forget it all like a bad dream. I mean, I'll remember it all like a bad, damn it. Good thing nobody heard of that. Get new items and cards, uh, equip a new weapon, and place new cards in the map. Oh. Okay. And then rock. And a dirk. Good, so there's a mountain over there and a forest over there. World's almost back. Branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Okay. I'm getting a little sick of, of roguelikes where, like, the nature of the game is, like, I think it's time to get some rest. The game itself is a journey on a loop path. Only you decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws are your enemies, of course. You can retreat any time, but a special animation will let you know it's time It's when it's safer. Retreat by pressing button. Retreat and keep all resources. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. You've beaten this annoying tutorial. Start your first expedition or not, do as you wish. Okay. This path, everything's wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and credit save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Let's do it. Yeah, I feel like there's been way, way too many games where, like, there's almost a twist ending to the roguelike, and it's like, and you defeated the monster, but then it was all for nothing. Vampire mansion, huh? Oh, I see. Yeah, let's put it there so we can, like, refresh. Gives a random basic tile after placing anything on an empty tile. 
must be surrounded by empty space when you build it. So if I do it here, a mountain, it's like a rock, but really big. Oh, we're getting some adjacency here. Cool. I've got a lot of health. Sorry, I don't know if, if that's visible. Hold on, though. See, that's my health. I'm in the 200s. Also, yeah, my weapons go up here. Sorry, that's where my face went. Battlefield. Smells of blood and steel. Hmm. Enemies on the tile around it can become ghosts when they die. Let's put some groves down then, huh? This is a spoiler for Darkest Dungeon, so skip ahead 10 seconds to 610. When you beat the game, it's revealed that you're in a time loop and you can't escape. So multiple games actually have, you know, a twist like that. And that kind of puts me off because it's like, well, if, if this is for nothing, then what's the point? Beacon, a worthless landmark in a world with no direction. 40% movement speed within its range. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, the range is pretty big too. So I can put it here. Let's let's let it see. Spawns a skeleton every three days. This will be pretty safe to put it, right? Yeah, all right. Ooh, hello. Armor. Shield. Four to six. I'm a swordman. Do these stack? Now's the time to find out, right? What is this? Spawns a chest. Both of these are battlefields, right? Spider Cocoon. Spawns a, t a spider on an adjacent tile once per day. Let's put it here. That way we can kind of reliably have spiders coming out. Meadow. Heals 2 HP at the start of every day. Ooh, that's cool. Nothing really interesting unless you're a cow, of course. Very funny. Okay, and I saw the button flicker there. So is there like a speed up button? Spear, six to 10, ooh yeah. I know spears are lame. They are. Counter percentage, interesting. Yeah, spears are lame, but like, oh man, hold on a sec. But, like, they're so useful. Can we mush these together? I like that you must defeat the chest. A ring. 6% vampirism and 7% chance of counter. Oh, these are not unlocked, I guess? Yeah, and I'm getting little heals off. Meadow. Grove. Let's put it here, I guess. What does this do? Vampire Mansion. Add vampires to battles. But there have to be battles. Dude, this is a big one. Yeah, they're kind of getting through my defenses here, but this is going to be a big battle for loot. Rock. Treasury. 
and then more meadows. Road lantern. Reduce the maximum number of... Oh, they can stack as well. Well, let's make sure that my, my trip home is safe. And a skeleton. Cool. What was that? Armor. It's not good. Pure damage. Or casual regen. And evasion. I kind of like that, actually. There is a speed up button. Yeah, all right. Back off, human. Vampire, where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I'd be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundred years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I can keep my head straight. Straight? You're a vampire, dude. It's like the most inherently gay mythical creature there is. Vampire rights. Uh, what hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its fill. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. That's right, I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone, in the name of the greater good. So be grateful for my hard work, and let me bleed you dry. Woof. Vampires often own lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves. Both physically and mentally. Apparently blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures around him were imbued with the power to drain someone else's life. Gladius, 7 to 11. That's big ups. Hmm. Yeah, I want to, like, be able to combine these things, but... Cemetery. Here, I guess. And then rocks. Oh, it looks like they give you basic stuff. Yeah. More regen. Yeah, it looks like if, you, if your, like, grid fills up, then it gives you basic equipment or something at the end. Meadows. Yeah, more meadows. Oblivion. Whoa, hello? Sorry, I was reading Oblivion. I didn't notice what that, what happened there. Oh, I'm getting stuff. Metal. Noticeable change. Enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout, or drop a water into steam. Stable metal. Scrap metal. Stable wood. Stable branches. Oh, these all these all go up to the next rank. Yeah. Crap pebbles become okay rocks. Rations become food. Branches become wood. And metal becomes metal. Oblivion. Erases stuff, huh? Enchanted spear, cool. Can I get a sec here? Thank you. Okay. Empty treasury spawns a gargoyle. So wait, can I Oblivion on the Empty Treasury? I can. Cool. Ooh, yeah, all right. Oh, it's becoming a mountain range. Awesome. Ah, but that spawns a harpy, I see. Shield. Ooh, more damage, too.
big armor go up. Ooh, more armor though. You know what? Are these rings like cursed? It looks like they become nothing when I when I put them on. But yeah, there's been a lot of games that that have the twist of like, oh, and then the fucking world blew up, and then you reset and it didn't matter, and like that's depressing. Broken longsword. Like, if what I'm doing is for nothing, then why should I care? And, and so it makes the game, like, almost a little harder to play, you know? Because it's like, why should it matter? And, and the answer is that it kind of can't. Ooh, ghost of a ghost. Interesting. Oh, the battle pauses to let you read as well. That's smart. This feels like a DOS game almost. Just one with incredibly high production values. Okay, so how many meadows do I have? I have like 13 now. So each one gives you two at the start of each day. And then I also have my regen up. I'm aware that I could be placing those a little more uh, fastidiously. Shields. Sword. Polearm. Pole arms are cool. I don't get enough pole arm use. So is it the right thing to make it safer? I'll give it a shot. And then we'll do some more treasure here. Stop. Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all your things. You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first? You can do everything you want when I'm done. Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. I don't have any good objection to that. Oh, wait. I do have one. How about... Extreme violence. Okay, obviously Demon Slayer is like a crap show, right? Like, it's a bit too edgy for its own good. And it's just so... I don't know how to put this. Neckbeardy? Like, it wants to be berserk, but it kind of can't be. But conceptually, I do like the idea of who's the biggest, hugest guy in the party? The dude wearing the hugestest armor? Oh, yeah, he's the rogue. He sets traps and fights with a short sword. He's a, he's a rogue. <laughs> uh, I conceptually like that idea for Demon Slayer. Everything else, I'm like, eh, you know? I do like how they have weird classes going on. Strange that these creatures appear on their own. It means everything's not so bad and the world's trying to restore itself. That or even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Some pests, probably. Damn. Big armor go up. So yeah, it looks like that gets burnt. And I don't get it. This is a really cool idea, though. Again, yeah, with these little pop-ups, it really feels like a DOS game. I'm in the thousands. Anything on an empty tile around it. One, two, three, four, five. By three. So yeah, I'm at 16 now. And yeah, look at how much, like, juice I'm regenerating. I'm already back up to 740. 740 again. No! What do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you... Why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there's been an emptiness in, inside of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way to save the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. How do you see saving the world? By my progeny and kin, may they live and be strong. May they join the cycle of life and death. That is life. That is the world. I will kill you and feed your flesh to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And how many lives can your blade prolong as you kill again and again? Only one. I don't want you to die. I don't want your children to die of hunger. 
Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, the Harpies can have all the sky and the hunting grounds they need. Can't feed my children with your beautiful words. Farewell. Oh, dropped into the 600s. Feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm causing another. There's no home for Harpies except in the highest mountains, but there's no food there. Can't even imagine how they managed to survive if their mountains were cut off from reality. Hmm. Regen is good, but meh. Yeah, some of these just have, like, flat, big, big number, you know? 13 defense, that's pretty huge. And I'm back up to the 740s. Interesting. More beacons. and then we'll start like a new mountain range. Oh, only spawn slime spawn in these things. Vampire's back. watching a progress bar go up you can just watch things you know fill in blooming meadow Ooh. oh yeah because it, we we crossed over I'm, I'm now here oh is it because we have a vampire next to this land interesting i don't want to miss my miss out on vampires so let's make my my quick my quick jump here a little a little better And then, like, I don't want to miss out on story, but it might be good to retreat soon. Yeah. The problem is that we just get so many random encounters that it's really difficult to actually see, like, where my, uh, where my, like, speed actually is. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting pretty fucked up. Ring. Better. Yeah. Shield. Better. Armor. Better. A repair. Yeah, I'm now starting to lose more of these battles. With the harpies and everything. Goodness. Battlefield. Oh, that's what's spawning the chests, right? See, I really don't want to get killed here because I've, I've put so much juice on. Okay, I'm here. Let's put all stuff... Whoa, what? Incursion. It is time to face the destiny of the world. Lich's palace? What? That's crazy. All right. Yeah, let's put all of them down there. And then we'll just hope, I guess. 
See, this, we lose it on regen, but we have so much more attack. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shield. So it must be like every single item you pick up is cursed. How many? We've got a little bit of the day left. But that doesn't fill me up. Okay. No vampirism on that. Yeah, these are just flat. Like they're good, but they don't have anything special about them. 62. Damn. This rapier is better in every way. Love it. Love to see it. This one takes a hit on armor, but it has more evasion and no vampirism. Meh. What about this armor? Again, a hit. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm getting down into the deep 200s. So if I go through there, what will happen? nearby. Now's the perfect chance. So is that not the incursion, or... can't believe it. Hey, everyone, the boy managed to return. Survivors, does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where'd you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? Eh. Or we don't remember. Few people are what's left of our group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion based on the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. Each day we see the signs of other people's presence around us, but as far as we know, they don't exist and never did. It's like we forgot them. Forgot them. Exactly. Like, they're disappearing every day and we instantly forget they existed. This is like a false Hydra thing. Just like we forget where we came from and our families, maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That I still remember. Everyone else's memories are not much better. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything's forgotten. Wait, you said I managed to return? That means you remember I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't keep wandering in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire here and enough space for a few sleeping bags. A luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Of course you can stay. Be grateful if we could team up. I want to put everything right. I'm only beginning to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remember the world? I don't get what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'll be glad if you can help us. I'll be glad. We'll be glad to help. We'll be glad if you could help us, and we'll be glad to help you. Don't ask us to follow you out there. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. Oh, that's no such thing to you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can he hear other people's voices. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish. Don't become forgotten. Take it. You might need it. Goodies. So what is this? Survivor's tents, campfire, and then some tents. So if we build... Oh, yeah. Okay. This is good. I like this. You can take potions with you. They're refilled at the camp. Ooh, that's good. Plus 10 to the campfire's healing power. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. Oh, you're going to hear something more elaborate? The truth is very simple. I love this guy's design. Yeah. I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything's very simple. But give me a few minutes, and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the tasty smell of a good stew. Oh, I want a stew. Y'all, it is finally autumn. Climate change can't get us down for too long. For a while, at least. A gymnasium. Gain traits. Unlock the village card. Cemetery and crypt. Refuge. Can only be built next to the field. Kit. Unlocks a new class! What? That's awesome! Oh, this game kicks ass. Provides basic warrior gear at the start of every expedition. Let's throw down a herbalist hut right here. 
Oh, it's a miracle we can find some fertile soil and by miracle save some seeds of precious healing herbs. The real miracles, all these healing poultices and balms still have some effect. Well, you think that they do. Like, am I wrong in assuming that that's how this works? As long as you believe they do, they can. They must. We already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to any diseases. And these potions can help you as well. Take a vial or two on your trip. Your chances of getting back in one piece will be much higher. Okay. I'm missing some of the supplies here. Mud hut. Bridge. Oh, river and bridge. Oh, shway. Chapter 1, 0 to 1 abilities, 5%, 2% on loop, max amount of a resource, 10. Oh, when we hit 10 of something, we cap. What the fuck? A living forest, it preys on wounded occupants. Place adjacent to the road, near other trees... Its roots devour enemies that have less than 15% HP left. Spawns a mosquito. All healing effects are lethal except for the potions that are still on your side. Oh, I hate that. I don't really care about this. I don't really feel the need to do that. Oh, we can have both, though. Dude. This is so crazy. This is so cool. Um, I'm going to cut the episode here. I've been playing for quite a bit. Uh, but this has been Loop Hero. Uh, wow, this is really good. I can see why people were gushing about this months ago. Don't mind me. I I strike when the iron is ice cold, you know? I, I get to stuff later. But I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This game's really good. You should pick it up if you get a chance. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.